Hi, Vanessa King here, Head of Psychology and Workplaces for Action for Happiness, here to launch Jump Back Up July. This is all about our key of resilience. Now, when we're facing difficult times and there's uncertainties and worries, we can find ourselves ruminating, churning those worries and concerns over and over and over in our mind. And that can undermine our resilience. So what can we do that's within our control to make maybe today slightly better or tomorrow slightly better? And here are three tips that you can try um, and see how those work for you. The first is reframing stress. Now, when we face a stressful situation, say we're going into an exam or we're about to do some public speaking for the first time or we're doing something we haven't tried before, can feel we can feel our stress levels rising and we can really worry about that stress thing you know and that uh, but worrying about that stress actually undermines our resilience when we reframe stress to think about the ways that it can actually help us in those situations it can act, it makes a difference and makes stress much less harmful to us so you know so the next time you're facing an exam or something new to try say well you know this is something i care about and it's important to me and these feelings of worry and stress that I've got about it are actually stress that are preparing my body and preparing my mind to actually help me feel energized and to do my best in overcoming this challenge. So give that a go next time you face a stressful situation. Reframe it. The second um, practice that I'm going to suggest that you uh, experiment with this month is a gratitude practice. But it's gratitude for those sort of our long line of ancestors that have gone before us. Now, if you think about it, just for us to be here means, A, we're resilient. We've already overcome lots of stresses and challenges and difficulties. But so has every single one of our ancestors. We come from a long line of resilient people. And just for our human, the human species to have survived, we're a resilient species. So just take moments to pause back on, you know, maybe the resilience of uh, the previous generations that you've known, your parents, your grandparents, things they've struggled with, things, and then reflect back on what might have been the struggles from your ancestors going way back into history. And then think about what strength can you draw from that long line of resilience um, to help you overcome and get through difficulties and challenges that you face right now. And the third tip this month is actively hunting what's good. Now, this can be really difficult when we're, you know, we're immersed in worries, with struggles and difficulties, and some of those seem ongoing. But we know that when we actively focus on what's good, when we find, when we experience even just small moments um, that feel good, that does our body good, it does our mind good, and it boosts our resilience. So two ways to do this is when you wake up in the morning, maybe before you leap out of the bed and before you start worrying about your to-do lists, reflect on what's one thing, one small thing that I can look forward to today. Maybe it's something that you can create happen, you know, taking a moment for a nice cup of coffee or stepping outside to, to look, at, um, look at the world around you or calling a friend. But what's something I can do, I can look forward to today? And the second is at the end of the day, reflect back, what was the best moment of today? Now, even on the worst days, on the most difficult days, there is always a moment that's perhaps better than the rest, even if it's just the le least bad. And by doing that, A, it helps us notice that not everything is, everything in our day is terrible. There are some small pockets um, that are better than the rest. That has that physiological and psychological effect on us and it can provide us with a much needed glimmer of hope that helps us keep going. So the three tips this month are when we face a stressful situation, reframe it to think um, reframe that stress to say this stress is actually helping me the second is reflect back on your the, the long line of resilient ancestors and the strength they've given you to to cope with the challenges that you face in your life and the third is um, 
hunt for the good, even on tough days. Start your day with you know, thinking about something that you can look forward to that day and end the day with thinking about what was the best moment of the day, even if it's just the least bad. So as ever, please share how you're getting on with those, th your, those ideas and those tips and your own, I your own ideas on our, on our Action for Happiness app. There's a lovely community on there or on any of our social media channels. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you again next month. Thanks.